Consider this, you have a REST API and you want to configure your Amazon API gateway to integrate it with an AWS Lambda function from another account. Is the cross-account Lambda integration even possible? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give your function a name. Since I'm in my sandbox account, I'm going to call this function my sandbox func. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create function, then scroll down to the code source section. I'm going to update our return statement and change the body message to hello from Lambda in the sandbox account, then hit deploy. Click on the test button to configure your test event, give it a name, then hit save. Click on the test button again to execute your Lambda function and confirm that your function is working as expected. Next, I'm going to grab my function ARN or Amazon resource name and paste it in my text editor. Now, I'm going to switch back to my main account, then navigate to the API gateway service and hit the create API button. Click on build in the REST API section Give your API a name, then hit the Create button. Choose Create Method from the Actions dropdown, then select Get. Leave the integration type to a Lambda function, then copy-paste the ARN of the Lambda function that we just created, then hit Save. Since we selected a Lambda function from our Sandbox account, we need to add permission to it using this function policy. Copy paste this function policy to your code editor, then switch back to your sandbox account and fire up your Cloud Shell. Let's paste this function policy to our Cloud Shell terminal, then hit enter to execute it. Next, I'm going to switch back to my main account and paste the function ARN one more time, then hit save. Click on the test button, then hit test again to execute your get method. Confirm that your response body from the Lambda function in the sandbox account is looking as expected. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the Amazon API gateway go on a vacation? <laughs>